80 carry swap, like going into the semi-finals, it was like a harder adjustment than I expected. Like Quinn's gonna join our team, like there might be like a few hiccups or whatever, it's gonna be really easy. And then like I realized it was a completely different play style than Derek had previously. To be honest, of, of course, like we none of us would want to lose to him in the semi because then like we would be made out as fools, right? We wanted to smash him at the end of the day. Spooks and Swiffer are going to turn up. He does have to be careful. Chaos Storm comes in. He gets eaten up to Spantix. First match was really good for us. Like we haven't played with Quinn before, and like this was the first big team fight on stage, like with our new AD carry sort of thing. Regret's going to try and spit him out to safety, but Swiper easily able to grab that with a blade surge. Zibble gets in in time, but Raze just calls him. Good knock up on a radio. We all just collapse and like Derek doesn't have flash and he's running down the river. So I'm just like, Derek, no flash. And I just flash on him and hit him with a Q, hit him with an ult and he just dies. And like we take mid turret, we're just like exploding the game. For the whole series, like I had uh, radio and client. So like I was messaging him, just like having some fun with him through the game. He's traditionally known for his jinx. So like I'm saying like, all right, like he's, he's like saying, I'm going to pick jinx this game. And I'm like, no, you're not. Like you're too scared. This game, Radio picks Jinx, and I hate Jinx. I think she's absolutely awful. And then there was just this one fight where we're all like bunched up in the dragon pit, and then Regret like flash alley combos like three of us, and I just see this like, it like time slowed down, and I just see this stupid Jinx rocket just flying in, and it just like hits Sam straight in the head, and we're all just getting absolutely roasted. I was just so upset that like the Jinx ult was just so useful in this one specific scenario. Egypt the first to die, Chippy. Going ballistic in this fight, but Swiper doing a lot of work as well. Vantix in trouble. Look at these tentacles, but he gets knocked up. Can he find Radia? Look at the damage, but Chippies gets the blade surge. From that point onwards, we were like significantly losing the game. The scenario that we got into, personally, I was like, we don't, we didn't deserve to win this game. There's no way, like we should have lost this game. Yeah, the Chiefs with these mountain drakes doing a lot of work. Super Mega Death Rocket comes in, but it is going to be the Chiefs blocking this one down. It's actually quite weird how second game finished because I hate Elder Dragon. And I think it's completely useless. It's like a one minute and a half buff. Chiefs utilizing this a double Infernal, double Mountain Elder Drake to rip apart the base of the dial. Still going. As soon as we got Elder, like they cannot win their team fight. Like, it's actually impossible. There's the flash forward. Actually, Cocoon lands on the radio. Doesn't have the QSS. Look at the damage. The shutdown comes out of Swiffer. Chippies is trying to get the work done. That is three Swift kills. And it looked like a Direwolves victory, but it's not going to be. So going into game three, I was still a bit worried for our mid laner because he was he's been he was a bit shaky and like a bit nervous like in the series. He's like young kid. He's playing like his first game with us. Isn't even like a normal OPL game, right? It's like a semi-final, honest like in the studio on stage versus his old team. As the Culling's just eaten by the door, Fantix exhausted. Really good deadly flourish in the back line as the ultimate's flying through from Raze. Shuts down Radio with the longest shot I have ever seen. When I watch Quinn like from first person, like I, some of the stuff he does like really surprises me. So like I'm just really excited like how much we've done in like one week with Quinn, like two weeks before finals, that sort of thing, and then like onwards from there. The Chiefs looking to try and just take down the Nexus. Chippies is gonna fall down. Sybil now trying to be the hero, but the Chiefs say all we want is that grand final. Within the week, I think um, we should be ready. And I, I actually I actually see like a very dominant um, like series for us.